Hey guys, Zep Productions here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm taking a look at a very, very special car. This is the Mercedes Benz AMG G63 4x4 squared. So, this is not a regular G Wagon, which in and of itself alone is very cool. But this is a 4x4 squared. Let's go take a look at the So this one's going for 367. Let's get a picture for the thumbnail. Get right into the review and surprisingly this thing is unlocked which is very cool starting off at the front let's take a look at this gorgeous three-pointed star which is blacked out you have a front facing camera right above it that's your gorgeous amg door amg badging Look at these beautiful circular headlights right on top of those is your turn signals which say mercedes benz Love the style of these turn signals. Side reflectors. And it's finished in this gorgeous matte color. Feels absolutely beautiful. There is also six, one, two, three, four, five, and six parking sensors on this beast on each side, of course. And you kind of need it for something this way. And this expensive too, you wouldn't want to crash it. There's a front push bar, full metal, all blacked out, super rugged. There's just a Maybach in the back. You just slam the Maybach doors. This is a car that you slam the doors on though, not that Maybach. But it has Pirelli Scorpion tires. These things are huge. You stand up. Goes up to my waist. It's insane. Look at these gorgeous rims. 22 inch or 24 inch rims, I believe. On that uh, sticker. AMG right there. AMG brakes. Huge, huge brakes. Which are drilled. Gorgeous looking car. Everything about this is so beautiful. Dream come true to see this in person. Carbon fiber, wheel wells, and the fender. Look at the wide body kit on this thing. It looks insane. Let's take a look at the front. How much clearance there is. That's a lot of clearance. This thing is very high up off the ground. Clearance goes up to my knees. To the top. There's auxiliary lights at the top, and some amber lights too. And this is the AMG version, so you have your V8 bi-turbo AMG badging, side rail that goes all across in carbon fiber. Gorgeous mirror caps with the turn signals, 360 camera, and a light, as well as your blind spot monitor. This thing is up, you know what that means? This beauty is unlocked. Just listen to the sound of this door. You have to push this down. It's like opening up a bank vault or a safe. Absolutely insane. It's hard to get this thing all in frame too because of how big it is, but look at that. Look at that interior. Starting off with the door. At the top, you have your window switches with your mirror controls, child lock, heated cooled seats, lock and unlock the car, memory seating with your seating controls, all in the doors, I love that, carbon fiber, door handle, Burmester sound system, place to put your water bottle, 
some other stuff. Another Burmester speaker. And this is all in leather. AMG badging right down here. AMG carpets. Get those foot pedals. Parking brake. Light controls. Ventilation. Rest we're gonna take a look at when we're inside. Mercedes-Benz G-Shockle approved. These gorgeous AMG exhaust pipes, they come off the side. More carbon fiber all around. Side reflectors. Let's take a look at that top. All right, now for the difficult part because I don't understand why it doesn't have any place to hold to get up into. But you could use this as well as this up here. So let's get inside. And it also has these um, very, very much needed side steps that are fixed. Very big leap. And we're inside. Unfortunately, it is getting dark. Look at this gorgeous steering wheel. And for some reason, there's something about Mercedes Benzes. And not just the Mercedes Benz, but especially the G Wagon. It smells phenomenal. It smells absolutely amazing. You have your gorgeous steering wheel. Huge screen, two screens at the front. There's your ventilation that moves. Paddle shifters. Got to test those out, of course. Sorry for the distraction, but they just turned on the Maybach. All right. AMG badging on the wheel. You know how your Mercedes Benz are. The gorgeous, gorgeous steering wheels. All your buttons on the steering wheel. And this is your, this screen lights up. There's some controls here. Also some controls here. Engine start stop. This is where the bi-turbo V8 powers up. More ventilation right here. These you can twist side to side. You can do that to this one as well. Put that back. Differential controls. Your IWC clock. Climate controls, nav, radio, media, all that controls. Full carbon fiber center console. Slide that back. The battery on this one is dead, so I can't even use the lights. Push that back. Inside, to open up the center console, just push that button. And it's a void of emptiness. Of course, everything is leather wrapped, soft touch materials everywhere. G63 4x4 squared. These gorgeous seats. Quilted leather, of course, heated and ventilated on both sides, as you can see. Very nice headrest, too. The top, you have some more controls with a sunroof that you can see the whole roof equipment through. AMG badging down here. It's very cool. From here, you can see the whole hood. Right, let me show you what's up top. More carbon fiber up here. The lights. No, no, let's get off of this thing. And listen to this. Wow. Let's take a look at the rear. More Burmester speakers. And the back seats are heated. Honestly, that's what you expect at this point. Let's get up into this. And I just hit my head. You can see the whole side of this through that mirror. But here's a better look at the whole front situation. Fortunately, lighting sucks, but you can see more of it. There's also speakers up there. Rear leg room is uh, okay, not the best. My legs are hitting down there and I'm not very comfy, but the rear seats and everything are nice. Headrests are good. 
in the handle. You're probably gonna need that if you're going off-roading. But uh, not much more. Not much more you can see from back here. And one of my complaints, and I say this as I'm the owner, but you can't really get out too easily from the back. There's not much room to put your foot on, as you can see. I'll show you the situation. It's just about get in and out. This is the lock mechanism. That's why it sounds so loud. It latches right into there. Take a listen. Then close it. You have to do these doors very hard. It makes me scared that they're gonna say something. I've been opening and closing these doors for the past hour. AMG badging back here. Look at the wide body on this. Tire. Tires. Mud flaps. And a whole metal bar in the back. Of course, more parking sensors. Sticks at the back as well. Reflectors. These are gorgeous tail lights. Blacked out AMG badging. Some ventilation right here. Let's go around. Look at that. I have to be on this side to get the whole thing in frame. Four by four square two, all in carbon fiber. Spare tire. G63. Look at that. Not sure where the backup camera pops out of. Maybe here. Maybe down there. It's where the normal G-Wagon does. Of course, we have to open this too. And this is a ladder. Pull it up. Maximum capacity, 100 pounds. Look at that. You have some carpet material. Some quilted leather. Inside we have a really nice present, three point of star, beautiful, gonna leave that on the serve. Decent trunk room, not too bad. Some more speakers in the back. Of course this thing closes like that too, and it swings out. Very heavy door. All in all, a very beautiful car.